Hey, how's it going? I'm going to show you why you shouldn't put hot pots or pans directly on your granite countertops. This is 3 quarter inch granite which is the standard thickness for most countertops and vanities. These two areas will show the effects of the heat. This is a curling iron measuring 220 degrees. I included it in the test since some folks leave it laying on the bathroom vanity while it's plugged in. This 193 degree pot of water was boiling just before I placed it on the slab. It has a lot of mass and the bottom of the pot has a large surface area so it will quickly transfer a lot of heat energy which is ideal for thermally shocking the granite. This 520 degree empty cast iron pan was heated on an electric stove. It's the hottest of the three items and has a large surface area to quickly transfer heat but doesn't hold as much mass as the pot of water. After three minutes, I dripped some oil on the pan just to see if it was still hot enough to smoke. Most countertop dealers say that since granite is formed in the earth at extremely high temperatures, hot pots and pans will not damage it. But to be safe, they still recommend using a hot pad. And this makes sense. Why would it crack if it was once molten rock? In fact, some folks place a slab of granite on their grill to use as a cooking surface. One factor that will affect the risk of cracking is the size of the slab. Thermal fractures are caused by a temperature differential or basically uneven heating. A small piece of granite will heat more evenly than a large one. Another factor are fault lines naturally found in stone which are more likely to be found in a large slab. Here's the results. For comparison, this is the slab before the test. Notice there are no cracks in this area. This is after the test. There is a definite surface crack where the pot was sitting. This is the area underneath the cast iron pan before the heat test, which has no cracks. After the test, there is another fine surface crack. Even though this crack may appear to be minor, it has created a weakened area which will be prone to a larger crack if the surface is repeatedly reheated. The next test is a worst case scenario you'll see in a kitchen. A cast iron pan filled with smoking hot oil. The high heat and extra mass of the oil will make this an interesting test. I left the pan on for 10 minutes and you'll be able to see and hear the granite cracking. You can see the second fine crack expanding and a small piece of granite flaking off. So 10 minutes later, Here's the results. The second crack has now opened up and runs through the entire thickness of the slab. This yellowing is probably the sealer breaking down from the heat. Check out the next video on how the quartz countertops did with the same series of tests. Thanks for watching and I'm happy to answer any questions. Aloha.